In today's video, you are gonna get eight signs he's just using you. You're gonna see my eyes going to the right. It's gonna be a casual video. We're gonna use my notes today. This video is so important because your time is valuable and you deserve to be with a man who loves you as much as you love him. Not to mention, have you ever had a terrible breakup or divorce? This video will give you the signs so that you can get out now before you have to de deal with the terrible breakup. Now, before I get into the topic, I want you to know that this is brand new advice that I just wrote that you will not be able to get anywhere else. So before we get started, if you think a man is using you, I want you to go down in the comments, type user in bold, and let us know what he's doing right now so that as a team we can support you. I'm Mike Goldstein and this channel is all about making dating and relationships easy. Thus, I am known as the easy dating coach. Let's get into it. Um, if you wanna help me, please hit like, leave that comment on whether you like this shirt or not, brand new shirt, and we're gonna get into it right now. First sign. He may have started to court you, got you extremely interested, but now if you ask him to take you on a proper date, he will not. Number two, he only contacts you to set up sex. Number three, if you ask him to do any activity or for help, he will only do it if it is convenient for him. He will never move his schedule to accommodate you or your schedule. Number four, he wants to come over at eight, nine o'clock at night so he doesn't have to buy you dinner or invest money. He's just coming over with low investment, whether it be money or emotional investment or time. If the investment is low, He's using you. Number five, if you are sick or in need, he will not help you, but instead run. Men who see you as valuable, truly valuable in times of true need, will put you first even over themselves. Remember, at the core, men want to be protectors. If he's not protecting, but instead running, not great. All right, number six, does not want to introduce you to friends or family. Number seven, in between dates, he doesn't text you or call you asking questions to really get to know you. Not only the who and what questions, but he needs to know your why behind why you are the way you are. And he wants to meet your who's because he wants to understand all of your why's. Think about the meaning of this. A man that's just in need of some connection is going to text you. And he's going to say, what are you doing? What are you up to? How's your day going? Tell me about that. And it's going to be pretty surface level, but there will be some form of connection. A man that really wants your being, really wants to emotionally connect with you, not only does he want to know what's happening, but especially in the early stages, he wants to know why you decide to do things a certain way. He wants to understand truly who you are. And if he's not doing that, he's not that interested in you. And he's just using you. All right, number eight. <clears throat> he asks you to move your schedule, but will never move his. In this relationship, he has all the power, and he probably knows it, and will keep you around to use you for favors, sex, or on-demand emotional support while he tries to find his next sex partner or someone where he has a stronger connection that maybe he can date. That's why we constantly see women that think they're in partnership where a guy is with them and then like a few days later he's all of a sudden with another woman or he's got a, a girlfriend where he wouldn't commit to you or you thought maybe you were in a relationship but you weren't. It's because he is having minimal connection with you. He's doing the bare minimum. And that next woman, he's going to do more. And it's going to drive you nuts. 
So the key here is getting out now so you're not in these mediocre relationships. You deserve better, and the only way you get better is by getting rid of people that don't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. All right, now when a man is just using you, there is a next step. Next, you need to learn four signs he's falling in love with you. This is important so that you get guys that are deadly serious about you. So we're going to pin that as the top comment. Go get that video. And we'll put it down in the description. That is your task right now. Go get four signs he's falling in love with you. And we'll see you next time.